Good morning, children. Uh, here we are with our uh, new block today. Today we are going to study block 27, Landforms of the Earth. And today's topic will be internal and external processes. Now in this block, this new block, the, the um, Landforms of the Earth, we will be learning that Earth is made up of different landforms and that affect lifestyles. As you can see in the picture also, you can see that lake, you can see plain, and you can see so many different mountains, so many different landforms. All over the earth is not same. And this affects the lifestyles as well. So in today's class, we will learn about the internal and external processes that change landforms. Now landforms is on the top of the earth. There is down one work happens and the top also one work happens. So we'll see the internal and the external processes that change the landforms. So the key words that you're going to learn is landform, internal, external, tectonic, gradational. So we're going to uh, see all these. So you know the surface of the earth is not uniform all over, means not same all over the earth. The lithosphere is made up of various landforms like mountains, hills, plateaus, valleys, canyons, and plains. Therefore, lithosphere may be flat in some place and rugged in others. So there are two types of processes that form and change landforms on the earth. One is internal and another one is external. So as you can see, the landforms are not same up, down, uh, mountains, down, then rugged, plateaus, uh, valleys, so many different things. This all changes because of two processes. One is internal, which happens inside the earth, and one is external, which happens uh, outside the earth. So first we will study about the internal forces that cause the landform. Now, the thing that causes change in the earth's landform is plate tectonics, tectonic plates, which I have told you many times, that inside the earth, our earth, is divided into different sets of plates which are uh, plates are there where the plates collide this where they join these parts when they collide then the earthquake happens it happens in the inside the earth core and mantle in my pdf i have explained the earthquake process and i've given in the pdf you can just go through it so what happens when this tectonic plate slabs of rocks underneath the earth's landmass or in seas they are in the earth land also they are in the seas also when inside the sea they cause the earthquake that time tsunamis and hurricanes uh, tsunamis and all this happens and when this happens in the land then earthquakes naturally destroys the everything on top of it so these plates move occasionally as i said they move occasionally and these are undetectable or may cause natural disasters such as earthquakes and volcanoes so over the years the amalgamation of this ship reshapes the earth because when this they comes and collides, collide sometimes they collide and then just they just form some shapes. Sometimes they collide and uh, they they make some uh, different kind of uh, forms. Like the earth is plain. Then when the uh, earthquake happens, they can form any different kind of shape. So new shapes come up. Okay, this way, this way this earthquake uh, changes the shape of the landforms. Okay, and altering what it is like this plain area can be something like that this plain area can be something like that it can change depending upon so earthquake is one of the example which happens internal which causes this change of landform so the example of internal forces is earthquake in the land and inside the sea also oceans also and why and how earthquake happens it's because of the collision of the tectonic plates more you want to read i've given in the pdf little more about earthquakes Next is external for uh, external process external process is a top of the top of the earth What happens on the top of that now see when this earthquake happens when this earthquake happens Suppose this area becomes little bit or this area becomes little bit then what happens is that on the top What is there that changes suppose say there is a, a river is there so the river also gets little change direction or um, on the top on the top of the uh, earth all the wind uh, then the river which brings others mm, sand they store so on the top of the earth there are many changes happen over a time suppose you have visited one uh, one place mm, and you visit next 10 years you will see it's totally changed uh, maybe more sand has been filled up maybe uh, one duck uh, one down place has been filled up and made level so you know 
this changes happen on the top uh, because of some uh, human activities sometimes and because of sometimes uh, like wind water rain uh, reverse all this also does the changes they do the deposition of sand from one place to another or they bring away the uh, they they erode away the mountain sometimes on big rock is there and year after year eroded eroded and then it becomes a small so erosion happens or taking away of some sand from one place to another and gathering it so this kind of things are external processes now there are two example one is denudation one is deposition now denudation is a process where wearing away Denudation means suppose a big mountain is there, so year after year, year after year, wind, water, rain, it, it's breaking away, breaking away, breaking away, and then that same mountain's shape is now changed because of erosion. It broke away the what because of the water, wind, so many things. So it 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 reduced the amount of uh, rock on it. So this is kind of an denudation. Examples are weathering, erosion. Now deposition is like I told you sometimes river bring more sand, sometimes wind bring some sediment, soil, rocks and they deposit some place. Sometimes here is empty, here is one river is there. So the river keep depositing rocks, sand, sand and then after some years you see here the things pile up and the place is changed, is shaped. So deposition means uh, the depositing of rock soil sediments all this by the help of water ice wind and living times so of living organisms sometimes we also fill up the dark places so all this makes the deposition changing of the landforms so these are the two processes it's a very simple lesson very small lesson so you read the internal and external processes it's only fifth number 50 half page please complete your s1 Complete your PQ in your content book, PQ3 in your notebook and I will give one assignment question today. So if you have any doubt, please contact me. Okay. And stay home, stay safe. Very simple lesson. Once you hear the video, then you just go through your text notebook, content book once. It will be done. Thank you. Bye-bye.